Siberia, you're Gibbs. Let's go. We got Kate. We are Kate. And uh, we're trying to find $100. Uh, yeah. We're also trying to find out where... I don't know. Well, I guess we're trying to find out where this Savignon piece is all about. Why is everyone so shifty about it? Let's see here. I know we need them for the cuckoo. Cuckoo bird. And likely an egg to put on the scale. I mean, I know that is the plan. It's just... <sighs> Why won't they just give me what I need, these rector fools here? Actually, I don't know if it's the station master or the rectors that I should be uh, angry with right now. But let's find out what these guys have to say for themselves. Hi! You want to talk to me now? Gentlemen, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving stations. Okay, money please. Some sailors have agreed to tow the train, but I don't have enough money to pay them. I was wondering if you could help me out. For a while. I could work for the money. <laughs> Please wait, miss. We have certain confibulations to attend to. That is right. We must confibulate between ourselves. A collegiate decision must be taken. I hope that we are not indisposing you in any way. No, I mean... <clears throat> Please, go ahead. Help Why yourself. not? If it helps us get rid of that train... My word, that is a fine idea. What do you have in mind, gentlemen? Hmm. When you arrived here, you must have noticed a splendid bandstand which honors the main university courtyard. A unique piece of mechanical craftsmanship which no longer works, alas. Why, yes, we have very moving memories of its melodies. We're prepared to offer you a financial reward if you can set it working again. With pleasure. What do I have to do? Unfortunately, my dear, time and rust have taken their toll on this university, and our automatons no longer have a spring in their step. <laughs> you are going to have to be resourceful. To tell you the truth, there are a number of complex mechanisms here in Barakstadt, and it would appear that we have unfortunately lost their operating instructions. Your train, however, is an extremely ingenious invention, so you should be no stranger to complex mechanisms, should you? Uh, we are therefore counting on your ingenuity, miss. I hope that I can show myself worthy of your faith in me, gentlemen. Well, my dear colleagues, one more university matter nicely tied up. <laughs> okay. Are you sure there are no Amazon Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt? Because I have just interviewed the station master and the paleontologist, and what they said really didn't convince me that there wasn't any here. Mm -hmm. We are quite definite on this point. There are no Sauvignon plants growing in Barockstadt. You see, miss, the Amazon forest Sauvignon is a rare shrub that requires very special conditions for growth. That's right. Uh, conditions that are very hard to reproduce, believe you me. Difficult, but not impossible. Uh, fortunately, our garden has proved very successful. Your garden? So, there is a garden in Barakstadt? Oh, the garden. Well, if there was one, it would be only a little garden hidden behind the station. But our station master would be very proud of it. He would take very good care of it, too. Everything would grow marvelously if we were able to cultivate it at all, and it would be all down to his gardening prowess. And we would be proud as punch. And we wouldn't forget the role the paleontologist might play in this. What's the paleontologist got to do yeah, with it seriously. all? Yeah, seriously. Without him and without his laboratory, how would we make the wine, do you think? And it would be good wine indeed, my dear colleagues, would it not? Oh, yes, a delightful balm to soothe away our long hours of toil and our heavy responsibilities. 
We would wait impatiently every year for the arrival of the year's produce. So, if I have understood you correctly, there are indeed Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt. They are cultivated in a garden behind the station, then turned into wine by the paleontologist's loving care. And finally, the pleasure of tasting is yours. If I'm not very much mistaken, gentlemen, you have a minor racket operating here. Mm -hmm. Miss, you do go jumping to some hasty conclusions. Uh... We never said that. That's not what we said at all. Uh, we, we, we were talking in the conditional. You know, with ifs and woulds. <laughs> so, what would happen if I had such a hunch? Yeah. Hmm, you would have to keep it to yourself, of course. Of course. Yes, it... If you would be so kind as to keep it a secret, it would only be a small local concern producing barely a few bottles every year. That's right. Nothing so grandiose as a business. Otherwise, we'd be liable to be fine. So we can't count on your discretion, can't we? Don't worry. I have no intention at all of getting messed up in anything. What a racket. You know, it would be a lot easier if you just gave me the $100 and I will keep it. My mouth shut. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. Time for us to go confront the station master. And then eventually the paleontologist, if I had to guess. Let's go get some grapes. You crazy rectors. I can't believe you did all this. Well, I guess it's the five of them, right? They're all in this racket together. All that hard work, and these guys are just... <laughs> That's okay. We're gonna set the record straight. Here we are. I'm coming for you, Station Master. And then I'm going to fix this bandstand here. So I think I know where that is. There was a locked door back here. Let's go check it out. Station Master, hi! I would like to have a word with you. I have all I need for you to spill the beans. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see? I am very, very busy. Uh, no you're not. Uh, no. Well, 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 I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. Good. I want to know all about the Sauvignon. You have been playing with me, haven't you? You knew very well there were forest Sauvignon berries in the station garden. No, not at all. I've never seen your Sauvignon thing. You don't have to lie to me. I know all about it. You and the rectors are in cahoots, and the professor's lab has been turned into a distillery. You've all got a nice little smuggling racket on the side. Smuggling racket? Hey, hey lady, you're going a bit far there. It's just a little on-the-side thing we got going. That's all. It's just for ourselves. Hey, be honest. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Aren't you worried about the reputation of this fine university? The authorities should be informed of this. But we haven't done anything wrong. It's not a crime. Can you open the gate to the garden, please? Sure, sure. No problem. Right away, miss. Good. Uh, fast travel? No. Now we have to go to the garden. And I think it's across this bridge. And then back to the left here. Yeah, here we go, over this way. Finally, we're gonna get some juicy grapes after all of this back and forth with these men. Wasting Kate's precious time here. We are. Please feel free to visit the garden at your leisure. And uh, uh, there was just one thing. Uh, I'm not a liar, not really. Just mum's the word. There is the reputation of the university to think about. 
I have superiors, and I have to do what I can. I understand. Don't you worry. Oh, thank you, miss. Yeah, we got you covered, buddy. Nice boots. Alright, Kate, let's go see what's been hiding back here. Aha! Where is this garden? Must be this way. Very beautiful out here. Come on, Kate, go left, go left. And where is the garden? You hear the birds chirping, that's for sure. Did we get grapes? Like, after all this time? <gasps> we have the grapes! Now let's go play with the birdies! All that effort. You could have just told me like an hour ago. Okay, let's go get up that ladder. If I need more grapes, I'm gonna come back there, I hope. down, right? Yeah, I think it was down this way. And there should be a ladder. A metal ladder. Uh, no, this wasn't right. I think it's up the other way. Yeah, I think it's the other way. To the right here. There's a bird right there. So that's the direction we gotta go. Mm-hmm. You're gonna love these delicious grapes! Go, little birdies. Finally, we can climb the ladder. I guess Kate was afraid of birds. I don't know, I would have just chased them away, I think, but this is the more delicate approach, the more eco friendly approach. There's got to be something interesting up here. More, more ladders. Ah, there is a nest up here. Let's see what we got here. It's an egg. Let's handle it delicately. Excellent. Let's see what we got. Cuckoo egg! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's get out of here. We get that bandstand working. I think we'll scooch across the back of the train if we can. See if the station master's still there. I think this is a shortcut. Oscar's still in there waiting for a ticket, and I don't have a ticket. 
It's flying up there to its nest. See that up there? It's pretty cool. Uh, maybe a little bit of a shortcut. Yeah, miss, 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 please, uh, excuse me. Yes? yes? You know, I want to apologize for our little misunderstanding. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I brought you a bottle of wine. Barrackstadt Sauvignon. Very good year. Let me know what you think. I'm very touched. Thank you. Good luck on your journey, lady. Thank you. Well, now he's super nice. Aww. Nice bottle of wine. Lovely. Okay, I've got an egg. Let's go. I need to place the egg on the scales. Now, I think I have to go this way. And then... Can I go this way? This feels like this would be a shortcut. Nah, it's pretty much the same. Oh, man. Fan stand. We did it. Or not. I think we just opened the door. What is this? Where are we? This is kind of crazy. Will this just turn it on maybe? One step closer to getting out of here. Yay. All right, give me my money, give me my barge, and we're ready to move that train. Unless there's some other convoluted adventure we have to take care of first. Who knows in this place. Let's go talk to the rectors and get paid. Starting to wear out the floor here in the university. No, 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 this way. Hi, boys. Time for you to pay up the lady. A gentleman. Forgive me for disturbing you again, but I a little problem. They are kept to oneself. No, our tray. Here we are, busy already. Thank you for and thank you. Um. Really? Why won't you talk to me? Ugh. Okay. Maybe we have to talk to the paleontologist first. Gentlemen, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving stations. Okay, money time. Gentlemen, I have managed to repair your university bandstand. 
The bandstand is playing again. This is marvelous news. We are really very grateful, very grateful indeed. Yes, very grateful indeed. We will look back on your visit with much fondness in our hearts. Good, good. And now let us in turn honor our word. How much is it you need, miss? A hundred dollars. No, a hundred and fifty. It's not too much to ask. Oh, a hundred and fifty. We agreed to grant you the aforementioned sum, miss. You may now leave with your train. Gee, thanks. Just pay, please. Ooh, wow. Big bag of coins. Put that in my And gloves. while we're on the subject, when will you be leaving? Uh, yes, because now you should relocate your train as quickly as possible. Uh, okay. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's already? Thank you. And thank you. Okay, now let's go talk to the barge people. Come on, Kate, you can handle those steps. You can probably leap across them here. Kate's so deliberate <laughs> in her footsteps and the way she opens and closes the doors. I want to get the barge people their money so I can get my train out of here. Oh, listen to that bandstand. It's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Let's go down this way. Where are you? You're down here. Hi there. Hey there, on the boat. Guten Tag, schöne Mademoiselle. My husband say hello, young lady. You want to talk to us? I got your money. It's not very polite of you to take. Father? Excuse my heart. How would you. I'll leave. Das wieder. Alright, so I actually have to give them the money. There you go. There you go. Here's your money. I've checked it. It's all there. Ah, thank you. Not difficult to get dollar. See? You are a real businesswoman. I'm not the only <laughs> one around here. Yeah, no kidding. We please to do deal with you. Now, you open lock or we no help you. Why didn't you manage to open them? After all, you don't have to be a genius. Ma vor vat pensiro sesto, di kleine madam. No se saye mar alles non comprendo en allora caput en andere bordel. Zils var moi. On boom telefonieren, kaput, kaput. My husband say instructions complicated. No understand manual. My husband angry, very angry. Oh, now telephone broke, kaput. Now that is annoying. What are you gonna do next? We wait repairman. Well, I don't have the time to wait. I'll have to go have a look. There must be some way of releasing the opening mechanism. Take key. Sailor always need key for lock. Throw me the key then. Don't drop it in. All right, there it is. Okay, thanks. Let's pick it up before we lose sight of it. Put it in our blouse. 